Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us once again to talk sports. I'm Austin Okunakman. The Nigeria Football Federation, they have finally appointed a coach for the Super Focus, the, uh, the women's the senior women's national team. Uh, his name is Thomas Denaby. Uh, he's been there, done that with Swedish football, and now he will be in charge of the Super Falcons. He has an assistant, uh, Peter Sinda, will be joining him. And then the Nigerian Football Federation will appoint three Nigerian coaches that will also assist Denaby. Good development for uh, women's football in the country. We'll talk about that one extensively uh, when we get to it. Also on the show tonight, we'll be taking a look at how the four connects are getting ready for the second leg of that FIFA women's under-20 qualifying match against South Africa, the Batsetsana, that's what they're known as. They have arrived in Nigeria in confident mood. They were singing right from the airport. And they lost the first leg by two goals to nothing. Uh, but they need to psych themselves up. So they're looking forward to that. Uh, that match will be played on Saturday at the Samuel Obemudia Stadium in Benin City, Edo State. Uh, the Falconers just put finishing touches to what they started in South Africa? That's the big question. We'll wait for Saturday to find an answer. Interesting, exciting world of sports. What a story. We've been following the Australian Open. Uh, Caroline Wozniacki has never won a Grand Slam title, but she's now in the final and she's hoping to do Ah, the impossible. And in this our world, we're supposed to say impossible is nothing. So uh, Caroline Wozniak will be going against Simona Halep. Can she break that jinx and win a Grand Slam title? On Saturday, we'll know when the women's final is played. But everybody is looking forward to that big one between Roger Federer and Young Chang. Can Chang continue this story of upsets at the Australian Open? That one also should get us talking. When we go to Washington, D.C., talk to Sonny Young and then continue this, the conversation uh, right here in the studio. It's been interesting following the Australian Open. We'll find out how Team Nigeria, the Super Eagles, are getting ready for their quarterfinal match against Angola at the African Nations Championships. Our correspondent, Irene Ewawan, is um, standing by. He's monitoring everything that is going down in the camp of the Super Eagles. Remember, uh, they went to Agadir and it was very fruitful, defeated Equatorial Guinea by three goals to one. They are now back to Chan Tangier, uh, where they will be taking on Angola. Um, they, had a, they were supposed to have a training session. That training session didn't happen, but Irena is standing by to give us more updates coming from the camp of the Super Eagles. We'll talk about that. And of course, we're glad that the Nigeria Professional Football League is back again. Already March day four uh, has come and gone. I was seeing interesting results. Some of the talking points from March day four, uh, we get our attention on the show. And remember uh, that Aimba was also busy uh, today. We will tell you everything that went down as regards that match. Jose Mourinho says he is loving in life at Old Trafford, so he has extended his contract. What do you think about that one also? A lot of talking points going down our world of sports, so let's get a conversation going. You can talk to us. Feedback mechanisms still the same, but just in case you don't know, uh, you can talk to us. I'll let you know how you can do that. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. Now, listen, guys, it's a verified Twitter handle, and we love talking sports right there. So uh, talk to us, questions, comments, suggestions, Anything you want to talk about in this our world of sports, just talk to us. I'll be here. Uh, when I get those messages, I'll read them right here on the program. Talk to us, Twitter channels, underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. Uh, you can take it a bit further. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com, and on YouTube, forward slash channels web. And if you log on to m.channelstv.com, you'll be able to download the Channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your BlackBerry, any of those devices. How do you see right there? For us, uh, it's all about keeping up with the pace. I love that part because you can rely on your award-winning, sports-loving channels television to bring you all the latest updates coming from our world of sports. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's talk some sports now, shall we? Tolu or Laura Morten, he joins us in the studio. Tolu, good to have you on sports tonight. Great to be back here, Austin. Fantastic. It's always a great time here. I know, I know. What a story we're going to be having tonight. Yeah. Let's begin with women's football. Uh, that's the protocol, so we won't break it. Ladies first, the Nigerian Football Federation, they have signed an agreement with top Swedish football coach. His name is Thomas Denaby. Just in case you don't know, Thomas Denaby will resume as the head coach of uh, the Super Falcons of Nigeria. Uh, the contract also enables Danaby uh, to come into the job with an assistant, uh, Mr. Jorgen 
Peter Peterson, uh, also another highly experienced Swedish coach nominated by uh, the new man himself. That's him right there, uh, Thomas Denaby. Denaby spent nine years nine years and played in the European Cup in 1983 and 1985. He won 34 caps uh, for the Swedish junior team between 1975 and 1981. He has also coached the Swedish women's senior team between 2005 and 2012, during which the team played at the, 28, at the 2008 and 2012 Olympics and the 2007 and 2011 FIFA World Cup Finals. He won bronze at the later at the latter tournament. He also served uh, served time as youth coach for Stockholm FA and worked in various capacities for former club uh, Ama B between 1993 and 2000. I think we have an experienced man for the Super Falcons. Yeah, and um, based on what we've heard from the NFF president before now, and of course. Um, the musings coming from the glass house, it's always been apparent that the NFF are thinking about giving a better showing at the World Cup for the women. Mm. Uh, it has taken this long to get the appointment, but eventually we've gotten a big name. And they said that they promised world class. Yeah. Um, at least if we got turned down by a certain coach who not took over a university uh, team, mm. yeah, I wouldn't mind having a coach who has uh, been there done that and seen it all mm. in terms of women football mm. uh coaching swedish women national team is one of the biggest That's national right. football teams I in agree. the world and to have a coach who was there at one of their peak moments mm -hmm. you know who led them that far uh, between 2005 and 2012 between the, those years you either have to look first at the united states japan uh, China, and then you think of Sweden, really, because they were that consistent in those years. Uh, yeah, truth be told, they didn't, they didn't win any major tournament, a trophy or tournament in that period, but they were consistent big names in the tournament, and they looked like they could always make things happen. Mm. Again, we, if we are going to be realistic with the team we have, with the setup we have, with the individuals in the team also, I think we have a team that can really compete across all levels That's right. for the females. So, and if that is the case, we equally need a coach, I think, like the, like the word we usually use in, in, in punditry, a good team deserves a great manager. That's right. So if you have great individuals, you need to give them a great manager. Mm. If you have, a, poor, if you have, a, if you have a, a luxury car, you need to give that luxury car to a fantastic driver who will get the best out of that luxury car. But sometimes the boss drives it himself, just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thomas Denaby is a new coach of the Super Falcons. As he accepted the job, let's listen to uh, the new man. He went online to talk to uh, followers of women's football in Nigeria. Thomas Denaby here. I am extremely proud, happy, and honored to be the new head coach for the Super Falcons. It's a really exciting and responsible work. Of course, I hope that my experience from many years in women's international football can contribute to development and improvement of the team. Super Falcons is a team with really high potential and they always live with high expectations and that is really exciting when you go to work. Now I want to get started and I hope to see you very soon in Nigeria. Okay, Thomas, we're waiting for you also uh, to come to Nigeria and start working with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So that's the new man uh, that will lead the Super Falcons of Nigeria, Thomas Denaby. Uh, keep that. That's information that you can use. And he made a very useful, uh, he made a very useful point. He said that the Super Falcons have uh, good potentials and so there will be high expectations. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Three-time African woman player of the year. Say that again. Francesca Tushuala. Uh, Francesca Odega. Mm. Currently on loan at Atletico uh, Femi. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Uh, we equally have Desire Paranose mm. in France. Gozo scoring a lot of goals. Uh, I mean, the, mm. the list is endless. We have talented bunch who should be giving us a better result. And I think that is why everyone has been pretty much uh, uncomfortable with the level of performances we've been getting at the international stage when it comes to the World Cup because we feel, even though the, the, the ladies have not, have not become this big yet as of that time, we always felt like they could do more than we were currently given as of that then. And talk of now, I think the expectation is even a lot more. So if you come in now and you know that as a coach already, it mm. means you equally know what you're up against. And the fact that he knows that already, 
gives me joy. It means that he's going to come here and not think that, oh, yeah, we could just go to the World Cup and if we get past the group stages, that's a mm. great achievement. No, mm. that is no longer the level where we are. And I think he has identified that already, which is good news for everyone. So we can then go to the World Cup and set better targets that will drive the girls, yeah. that will motivate them to think, oh, I think we should be seeing ourselves in this light. Yeah, we have individual players who are going across the world and conquering everywhere they are. They need to get, put up better performances when they go out there in, at the World Cup. Hmm. And that, if that is our main aim, That's right. then at least we should do it right. That's right. And, uh, I mean, he's a professional, yeah. so he should know that when he comes in and the team is not doing well, he should, he should take criticism. True. And, and, and hmm. his assistant also, the man he nominated himself, yeah. ha has been through a lot of the Swedish teams. Uh, you know, he, he was equally at the Euro 2016 as a scout, scouting opponents for, for the Swedish national team. Look, we, we need as many good hands as possible. Uh, we are no longer in the era where you just rely on your old strength and go into games without knowing what your opponent poses. Yeah. No, football is no longer like that. Exactly. There's a lot more information everywhere for everyone We've to We've had situations where um, something, wrong, something goes wrong and then the assistant jumps into the fray. Yeah, you know? and, and you I need mean, an assistant who is equally as knowledgeable. Good. That's right. So, so on, yeah, and that's why that's why he has, he has picked um, uh, Peter Sin himself, uh, who he has been working with for some time. But we're also um, anxious to know the three Nigerian coaches that will work with him. Yeah, that, 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 that will be important because, um, yeah, for all the experiences that this duo will bring to the national team, we equally need to know yeah. who and who, how the Nigerian coaches will benefit the blend. from this. You know, let, let mm. something rub off. That's right. Uh, like the way we have in the Super Eagles, where you know draw is there doing one thing, and then Salusi Yusuf, Imama Amakakabo mm. are on the other end. It's, it's rubbing off. It's evidence. Look, whether we like it or not, we can see that some, some, some things are different at the national team. Let the same happen at the female team. And the fact that we have these guys who are bigger names in female football, I mean, I think something, something really, really well will rub off here. We, we are unsure, though. I wouldn't know who. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'd like to see who those three guys are oh, so, or who those so, three names will be. So we're waiting on the, the, the Nigeria Football Federation. They've done one beat. They need to complete it. Uh, according to a statement from the Nigeria Football Federation, the three coaches who will work with Denaby will be announced soon. We don't know how soon, but uh, that's the statement from the Nigeria Football Federation. So it is done. The NFF, they've kept to their words. World-class coach for the Super Falcons and Thomas Denaby, uh, who has all the experience you can think of with Swedish football, the senior women's team uh, will be leading the Super Four because uh, we've seen the man and we've heard from him. Uh, he's optimistic and he's looking forward to working with Nigeria. So let's give him all the support and wish the Super Falcons well. But before uh, the Super Falcons get busy, on Saturday, the Falconets, Nigeria's on the 20 women's team, they will tell us if they really want to feature at the World Cup because that's when they will take on the Basetsana of South Africa. They won the first leg 2-0 in South Africa. Second leg will play on Saturday they were uh, they they got the Samuel the Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium in Benin City and the South African ladies they have landed uh, they came into town to know with uh, some renewed confidence uh, this this ladies from South Africa and they are believing that they can turn things around I don't know where they're getting that from well all, all that confidence if it didn't work in South Africa it won't work here I mean <laughs> you should have done the job at home and you couldn't so uh, nevertheless, I'm sure the Falconets are not taking things for granted, and I'm equally confident they will not be complacent. Mm. Look, all the singing from the airport, I think they should have sung back at home. They brought nobody <laughs> but it's needed, and it's football, so anything can happen. I, I think the only thing that will happen, Austin, is getting chance five goes to nil. <laughs> I don't think any, anything else will happen, because I'm sure the Falconets haven't gone, come this far want to wrap up qualifications as quickly as but possible. But this is good mood, and as you can see, even some Nigerians popping into uh, the shots, they're saying, well done. Uh, this is good mood. They are not looking like they are beating. Yes, they are beating, but they believe they are not yet down, and that 90 minutes will tell the rest of the story on Saturday. Austin, if I was a coach, I would make my players do this too. We have nothing to lose. Let's go all out and attack. Let's just be ourselves. Let's enjoy the game. But the truth is... If your opponents are better than you, then they are better than you. Okay. I, do not think, I do not think this girl supposed too much on Saturday. Okay, so South Africa, uh, they are in Nigeria for that FIFA Under-20 uh, World Cup match. Second leg against the four corners of Nigeria as we played in Benin City. Sports tonight on Channel TV. Let's go on a quick break. Well, come on, there's still more to talk about, so don't go anywhere. Stay.